Windows Configuration Designer is a tool included in the Windows Assessment and Deployment Kit or the Windows ADK for Windows 10 and we can use this to create a provisioning package to make changes to an existing Windows 10 installation without requiring a full Windows deployment. So for example if several users bought a computer with Windows 10 Pro uh, we want to use them on the corporate, corporate company network we have to configure these devices to comply with company standards before users can connect these devices. Now traditionally we would have done that maybe individually on each device but in the case of the Windows configuration designer we can create a package and deploy that package to multiple devices in one go. And in this demonstration we're going to have a look at how we create a provisioning package. So I'll come on to lon-cl2. The Windows ADK has already been installed so if I just scroll this down what we have down at the bottom here we have our Windows kits and the one I'm interested in at this point here is my Windows Imaging and Configuration. Now when I click on that, it brings me into my Windows Imaging and Configuration Designer. And as we can see here, we can create a desktop device, provision desktop devices, so configure common settings for Windows desktop devices. We can do the same for mobile devices. We can provision HoloLens devices. We can provision Surface Hub devices kiosk devices which are computers that you may have sat out there in a library for example uh, we've got advanced provisioning where it gives us every single setting now for purposes of this demonstration I am going to provision desktop devices so we'll click on the tile first thing it's going to ask me at this point here it's going to ask me to give this project a name I'm just going to call it a datum it's going to ask me for a project folder so in the case of the project folder happy with that and ideally I should really put in description but not going to bother it's it's a demo so what we'll do is we'll select finish now what it's doing is it's now bringing me into actually setting up this this package I'm going to create so as we can see we have a number of different tabs within here to go through so we've got set up device so we can do device name and a unique device name we can use variables so what we can do at this point here is we can for example um, get it to generate uh, a random set of characters up to a number that we put in place. We can enter the product key. We can configure devices for shared use. So for things like students. And we can remove any pre-installed software, which I find extremely useful. We can also set up the network. So we can set up network information at this point here. So network SSID for things like Wi-Fi networks. We've also got account management. So in the case of account management, this is where we can specify... Do we want to roll this in Active Directory? Do we want to roll it in Azure AD? Do we want to specify local admin? So for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to go for local admin. And we are going to create a user account and a password. Other things we can do is we can add applications, we can add certificates, and we can finish. But what I'm going to do just for purpose of this demo, I'm just going to go to the advanced editor. Yes, I do want to go to the advanced editor. So in the case of the advanced editor now, as you can see, it brings me in and it gives me the ability to modify additional settings. So let's just go for runtime settings. And in the case of runtime settings, as you can see, there's quite a few within here. We're just going to go for accounts. We'll just select our users. So and what we've got is if we have a look, we should be able to see the user that we created. But as you can see, there's quite a bit you can do here. So you can modify the uh, information related to your browser, um, out of box experience, uh, there's quite a few on here, I'm not going to go through them one by one, but as you can see, quite granular in you know, what you can actually configure as part of your package that you're going to create and then push out against other devices. So if I'm happy with that now, I can click on my file button and all we're going to do is we're going to click save and we'll just select OK. So that's now saving that off. So now we've actually created what we want to apply, the next thing we need to do is we just need to export that. So we're just going to export that as a packaging or provisioning package. I'm happy to call the datum. Yes, it is version 1, 1 as OEM, and rank of 0. It's the first one I've created. So at this point here, we'll just select our next button. I'm not going to encrypt the package. Probably would if I was distributing this across um, an a network perhaps or maybe if I was sending it on a USB device through the post perhaps sign the package that's using my own certificates I'm not going to do any of that I'm just going to select the next button as part of this demo it's then asking me where do I want to put it so what I'm going to do at this point is I'm actually just going to stick this on my desktop 
And then all I need to do is I need to give it a name. So let's call it datum. And once we've done that, select save. Then select next. Have a read through, make sure everything is definitely correct and then select build. So as you can see, created it extremely quickly. I didn't put that many settings in it. Now we can select finish. So now we've actually created that package. The next thing we want to do is we'll want to apply that package. So all we'll do is we'll just minimize down our configuration builder. And as you can see, I have the Adatum package file sitting now on my desktop. We also have the other file of Adatum.cat, so the cat log file. So what we're going to do at this point here is we're now just going to apply this package. So we'll just double click on our Adatum package. It's just saying at this point here, changes will change a local account. Are we sure we want to add this? Yes, we are. Yes, let's add it. And the next thing to do is to come into computer management and see if the user account has been created. So we need to do at this point here, just right click on the start button, come to computer management. Within computer management, when it launches up, we'll just go to local users and groups. Have a look at our users. What we should see is we should see we have the user account created. We may be wondering where that user account came from. So if we just click on the start button, if we then just go to settings and then within settings, we'll just come to accounts and within accounts, what we're looking for is we're just going to come down to access work or school. Then what we'll do is we'll add or remove provisioning package. What we should see here is a datum. So if we select a datum. We then just click details. What we can see at this point here is, yeah. So version one changes device customization. What does it do? Creates a local account. And that's the end of this demonstration of having a look at creating provisioning packages. Thank you.